Hey, what is up YouTube? We're back at it again. This is Sketchy Day for another almost a sketchy vlog. Um, right now, I'm actually about to go get this scruffly mess of a hairstyle cut and hopefully it'll look better afterwards. Though the actual plan for today is to go out to Switch and Signal. We're actually going to try to help people get better at rock to fakies. I'm going to teach you a couple trick tips that I've learned over the years on how to get better at rock to fakies and how not to hit your hip every single time because I know through my skating over the years that was the struggle. The struggle was learning transition and coping tricks. And the big one that always got you the gateway trick into all of the other tricks on coping, um, maybe other than a basic 5-0 or a kick turn piv on coping, would be a rock to fakey. But it's also one of the ones that you can get easily caught up on. You can slam your hip, you can slam your whole existence. And if you don't know what I mean, you haven't tried rock to fakies enough, or you were one of the few people who actually just got them right away, which is very few and far between in skateboarding. So today we're gonna get into that. We're gonna try to help some people save their hips so that you're not old degenerate men when you get old with hips that need replaced. Maybe by then though, we'll have robotic hips. Doubt it, but it's a possibility, especially with the way technology is going. So let's cut to new haircut and to skate it. And brand new haircut. And a camel. Now off to switch and signal to get a couple clips and to get you guys better at rock to fakies and hopefully I'll improve myself. Okay, so in today's video, like we discussed earlier, we're going to be focusing on getting better at rock to fakies. I'm not going to be teaching you the very basics of rock to fakies for this video. It's going to be for people who've tried it, have a general concept. Uh, we will skim over, though, the basics. We're not going to completely ignore it. Um, so I am going to teach you some of the basics. It's not going to be the big focus, but I'm going to teach you the things you need to know for rock to fakies to avoid slamming your hip every time. And the three things that you need to know when you are learning rock to fakies to get better and avoid slamming your hip every time is going to be commitment, general broad statement. You might think that's not a trick tip, but we're going to go over that in a little bit, what I mean by commitment. And then the second one is going to be foot placement, where you're putting your foot on the board, and the shoulder dip is going to be the third and final one that we're going to go over in this video. All right, so starting off, first one, commitment. I really don't need to show you any examples right away of it, but I will cut here in a moment just to some quick rock to fakies that will be an example of how I do my rock to fakies. A couple different angles, and we're gonna show different variations in the video of different rock to fakie variations that you can do once you do learn how to rock to fakie. And what I mean by commitment is that you are fully committed because the second that you doubt that you're gonna land that rock to fakie or you're not gonna go up all the way and you're just tapping it, more than likely you're gonna fall twice as hard. If you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall harder because you didn't commit. One key part to rock to faking is you are coming in backwards. You're not really gonna be looking at where you're going when you're going backwards. You're kind of just committing that you're gonna miss that coping. Because if you start to second guess yourself when you're doing your rock to fakie, you're gonna do the little hiccup thing where your board double taps that coping. Sometimes you'll get lucky, you'll survive, you won't completely wreck yourself from second guessing yourself doing the rock to faking, catching, but that's when you're lucky. Otherwise, you're gonna double catch on that coping, you're gonna slam and it's gonna be hard usually. I've learned over the years and 10 years of skateboarding, I've realized that when I second guess myself, 95% of the time I'm getting hurt worse than if I would have just fallen, gone ragdoll, bailed out. And if you guys don't know what ragdolling is, it's basically letting your body go loose or limp when you are about to take this fall so that your whole body takes the fall instead of trying to catch yourself with the wrists, which sometimes is okay to do, depends how you're falling, but rarely do you want to fall all your weight on your wrists or all your weight towards your back without going ragdoll. So once you've decided to actually commit, you can move on to the next step, which is going to be foot placement. Foot placement, very key. And for rock to fakies, it's gonna be a little bit more simpler and there is a little bit of room 
for a variation of where you're gonna put your feet. But for example, good places to put the feet. I like my back foot flush with the edge of the board right near the tail so that when I do go to dip into it, we're gonna be able to rock fully over. You're gonna be able to do a bigger push into the coping by having that foot on the back full control. Now for my front foot, I like to keep it right on bolts, sometimes closer to the back set of the two bolts, uh, just covering that. You can honestly have it completely covering bolts if you'd like to. Uh, it just depends how big your feet are and how comfortable you are with the trick and where you want to place it because people ride transition differently. Um, from a drop-in position, I'm usually right there going in. Um, I wouldn't suggest turning your foot unless you really want to tweak how you do it, maybe do some foot variation. I know some people kind of like to put their foot up like that once they get good at rock to fakies and that's just for style, that's for having fun. Um, but for now, we're just gonna do that. We're going to cut to some examples of that right now. Okay, quick note, because as I was doing the trick, I realized I put my foot placement a little bit different. What I would actually advise for the front foot is to be even with the bolts, so like this. Sorry if this is a little shaky, I just did this section straight with the tripod instead of the helmet cam. All right, and we're gonna interrupt the skating for a quick trick tip. Basically, when you're trying rock to fakies, you wanna make sure to dip that board in as far as you can over the coping. The further you go in, the better usually. It gives you more time to pull the board back. That's gonna give you time to avoid hitting the coping a second time and dying. Because you don't wanna die. You don't wanna fall down, hit your hip again, because that's why you're watching this video. You're trying to avoid hitting your hip for the 900th time, you wanna put that commitment in and land that trick. So back to the skating. note if you do like this kind of content where I do trick tips or ways to avoid falling or to avoid something let me know in the comments also if there's some other type of content you'd like to see out of this channel I'm more than open to suggestions I'll take a look at each and every comment especially since the channel right now at the time of recording this video is a smaller channel I've got time to look at your comments I'll respond and let me know what you want to see if you enjoyed it board tap that like button Hit subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so that you actually get my videos in your suggested box. And let's get back into the video.